Hello, this is Cast Baloo, and welcome to more Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. The first of three scenarios, I suppose. This one featuring da 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 Locke. Our wayward treasure hunter, Locke, has worked hard to stem the efforts of the Imperial troops in South Figaro, but now he desperately needs to escape. Yep. Damn it, gotta get to Narsh on the fly. Okay, so... Actually, just a sec. Okay, back. Sorry, I had to check something. So, first things first. Lock here... Uh, helps if I press the right button. Does not have... Damn... Well, anything in his equipment. We're gonna need to fix that. Uh, now I'm highly tempted to give him the Genji Glove. Personally, and I'm definitely gonna give him the Sprint Shoes. Uh, the only thing about this I'm not sure about is I might want a shield. Uh... I don't know, it's a tough choice. Um... Well, I can kill things faster if I give them a knife. So I'll do that. Their knife. Um. Second thing is. These guys, don't don't talk to the, the armored knight guys, because they can kick your ass. Um. That said, if you'll recall. Oh, hey, Duncan's house. Rich people's homes are always have secret passages. You just have to search until you find a place where you can feel a draft. You don't say. So here's the thing. As you recall, South Figaro is absolutely lousy with hidden passages. Case and point. Oh, right, that reminds me. I'm gonna go ahead and turn... Where is it? Turn this off. Sometimes you want to walk, you know? Uh, okay, this is just a save point down here, really? Huh. Well, okay then. I thought there was a hidden passage down there. And obviously there are hidden passages down there, I just, I no direct access. Right, so anyway, uh, Magitek armor can't go this way. Clearly that means we should go up. Oh hey, an item shop. And another roadblock here. Is there... no? I kind of feel like there should be something there. There's nothing in here, is there? Stay away from those armored soldiers. They'll kill you just for talking to them. Uh, literally. You're the infamous thief, Locke, aren't you? Oh, now that was just plain rude. I'm a treasure hunter, and don't you forget it. So here's how this is gonna work. Yep. Here we go! They're a little tight, but the price was right. <laughs> oh yeah! Why do I always have to go and open my mouth? Why indeed. Anyway, I want to buy those. Not that they're very useful to me immediately, but they will be later on. Um... Anywho?
we can go in here next because it all goes topsy turvy turnways and we can no cider what are you doing here what indeed well we can go down here and then I believe wait my grandpa used to be a servant for the richest family in town you're a merchant right okay go ahead he was blocking the way, but we needed to steal the merchant clothes to get past him. Also, a potion! Um... Huh. You know, I think that I missed this when it was here before. To be honest. Oh well. Oh well, it's no biggie. And we're in the back! Which is good, because... Uh, nope, can't go that way. Um... We can go up here, but to what effect, right? Um, still can't go that way. Well, what about over here? Too many people. Way too many. Better go this way. Haha. -ha. And we actually want to... Hey, that guy's wearing green armor. Hmm. Anyway, we want to go to the pub. Because, as the hint went... Uh, careful in here. Actually, I think you can talk to the armored soldiers in this room, but don't hold me to that. Personally, I'm not going to risk it. Uh... To be blunt. Hey, you came to steal my cider, did you? You dirty little thief. Yes. Yes, I did. And your clothing. Not that I really needed it, but... It's the quick way to deal with you. And it's good to note that you have more than one option for replacing your clothing. And we got the cider. Just like I said. Which is good, because we need to bring it to that old man from before. No, can't... Really? Okay, let's just, let's just try this. Okay, yeah, so you can talk to the soldiers in the pub. Who don't buy anything. Well, okay then. Uh, I'm... We'll be talking to the greenie here in a moment, I think, but we want to go deal with the cider thing first. Also, if I can... No, it's not in here. Yep. Yeah. Let me out. Hmm... Oh, cider! Glug, glug, glug. Hmm? Secret passage? Well, yes. There's a tunnel from here to the mansion on the north end of town. Go downstairs tell my grandson the password. It's, um, uh, I forget. Don't worry. I know what the password is. Um, if it's, uh, do you know? We'll see how this works. It's courage. I'll show you the secret entrance. And more importantly, open it for me. Like so. And just like that... We can travel underground. It's the coolest place around. And though endless wonder abound... There's a clock with an elixir. Um, that la the rhyme of the last one didn't quite hold up, did it? Um, oh well. That through the door. And now we're here, and if you'll recall, there was a phoenix down in one of these that I already picked up. Um. Oh yeah, it should be, it's worth mentioning that all the treasures I'm collecting here do not change between this 
and later on in the game. As far as I know. At least. The Imperial troops have turned this house into their headquarters. You don't say. Can't go in from the front. And there's absolutely no music. How scarily creepy. Um... <laughs> wind the clock, wind the clock. Uh, that was just a jump rope rhyme. Uh-huh, sure. Clang, 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 clang. I'm Magitek Armor. You sure are, kid. You sure are. I kind of want to talk to this guy just to see him be woeful over having to babysit the kids, but I think... I feel somehow that it would be a poor choice. Oh, what have I done? I betrayed the town to the Empire! All I could think of was the money! Indeed. Oh. That's interesting. And to the dungeons! Uh, these are fine. I would rather be wearing the green armor, to be honest, but what you gonna do? I know I've seen her before. Wait a second, she's one of the Empire's generals! Okay, now, something really important to mention about this scene. In the other versions of this game, this scene is different. What happened to- this is what happens to traitors. In the Super Nintendo and PS1 version of this game, a Magitek Knight forced by the Empire and temp- forged by the Empire, rather, and tempered in battle. None have ever truly known the woman beneath the general skies. Uh, I need to stop being distracted. Scylla is here. In the Super Nintendo and PS1 versions of the game, She's chained to the wall, and she's literally being beaten. That does not happen in this version. The reason it doesn't happen, and this is not like a censorship thing, so, so, well, sort of is, but like it's like this in every version of this game. The Japanese version as well. The reason it's different is because apparently uh, they changed it in Japan because of recent events. There's like... Without going into any details, it's, and this is all, this is second-hand information, but it's been consistently from every source I've ever seen, so it's probably accurate, is that apparently around when this game was released, there was a kidnapping case in Japan where some students got kidnapped and beaten, and for some reason, Square saw that and thought, hmm, you know, this is incentive, we should change it, this scene for all time because this one thing happened, and even though there's worse things in the game, and you know, it was poorly thought out. Um, decision, but that's why it happened. And it's different. That said, I, what I plan on doing for this, and you'll obviously see in a moment if I did do this, is I will put how the scene looked like in the Super Nintendo version, in the corner, uh, probably right after this scene has finished so that I'm not covering up any text. Excuse me. That said, so the mighty Cecil has f or Celez has fallen, not Cecil. Not as far as those who use their strength to oppress the weak. Quiet! Kefka's planning to poison every last man, woman, and child in the kingdom of Doma. Shut up! Thwack. Hmm. Run that mouth of yours while you still can. Your execution's tomorrow! Keep a close eye on her. Cause, you know, here's the thing about the scene for changing it that's really- makes it really weak. Celez is not the sort of person who would put up with this. Her- it's completely out of character for her to just stand there, not even chained up, and just take it.
Huh. <laughs> He's in the rafters. Okay, so, needless to say, we're gonna want to go in there to rescue Celeste in a moment. But first... Uh, wrong room. I already got the treasure from there. But first... Uh, wait, what? Did I- did I go the wrong way? Okay, um, well, oops. Uh, just- just a second. Okay, okay, I know what I did wrong. Yo! Hidden staircase. For the dungeon cells. The really dungeony cells. Because there's a hyper wrist. As well as Hermes sandals. Now, the really important thing here are those sandals. Uh, hyper wrist just increases your strength. And it's actually pretty good in that regard. The sandals, though. Yep. Yep. We're on episode... 8, I think? Yeah, we're on episode 8, and we already have auto-haste. Which, as you should know, is OP as all hell. Um... That said, before we put that on, let's get with the rescuing of the damsel. Really good job there, dude. Her hands are bound. Remove them. Free her! What could you possibly hope to pedal in a place like this? Oops, forgot I was still wearing these clothes. So here's the thing, this scene is different, slightly, depending on what you're wearing, which is why I wanted to wear the armor into here. Uh, because it would have been hilarious. Oh well. Um, it's not a big deal. Name's Locke, I'm with the Returners. You're a Returner? I'm, or at least I was, General Celez. Now I'm nothing but a traitor. Well, let's get going. What? You take me with you? No, I can barely walk. I'd never make it out of here. I appreciate it, but even if you got me out, you wouldn't be able to protect me. I love it how they're having this conversation in the room with the sleeping guard. I'm better off waiting here for the executioner. At least that way I'd keep my pride. I'll protect you. Trust me, you'll be fine. Let's go. Wait. That soldier might have something he could... ...on him. That could help us get out of here. Okay. Uh, if you say so, but first, the Rune Knight has absolutely nothing on her. Uh, I don't have a Mithril Sword because I gave it to Edgar like an idiot. Um, I think she can use the Air Knife, though. No, I was wrong. Um, she can use a Heavy Shield, though. Uh, Plumed Hat. And leather armor, I guess, is about as good as I can do right now. What I can also do, though, is give her that. And... Wait a second. Oh yeah, by the way, some of you may have noticed there. Celez here can use magic. Because the same, basically the same thing as Terra, but she has ice instead of fire. There is a reason for that that will be elaborated on later. Um, that said, um, let's go ahead and give her the Hermes sandals. I sort of want to give those to Locke, but well, my equipment isn't really 
prepared for that right now. Uh, anyway. There's, a uh, Stealing is wrong. <laughs> Who do you think I am? Treasure hunter extraordinaire! Yep, we got the clock key, and he woke up! More soup and... Mm -hmm. And he passes out again. And on that note, well, we're going to be heading here, but, oh, by the way, actually, I just want to try something here. If I do that, Celez is in front, ha ha! Because let's be honest, Celez is way cooler than Locke. Not that Locke isn't cool, Locke is pretty damn awesome, but he's, but... Well, we did just meet Celez, so maybe this isn't the most appropriate change. Anyway. Anyway, on this note... Wind it! And suddenly a secret passage. And we are going to stop off here. Because, it's, because I'm at 22 minutes, which is a good place to stop. And I have a pretty good... I have a decent idea how the rest of this will take, so... Anyway, until next time... This has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VI with Chaos Baloo, and have a nice day.